Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. The method we're going to use here will work when you have got either an odd power of sine or an odd power of cos and you've got a product of sine and cos. Now I guess you're thinking, how do we know which odd number to choose? Well, that's simple. We choose the lower one. So we're going to be concentrating on the three. So we've got cos cubed x. So we want to replace something so that we've got a cos x left over. In other words, we're replacing the cos squared x by something. So here we just need to remember that we've got our identity cos squared x plus sine squared x Oops, is 1. We could have an identically equal in there if you want. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing in our integral cos squared x by 1 minus sine squared x. So in the identity, we've subtracted sine squared from both sine squared x from both sides. Excellent. Right. So all we're going to do is write down sine to the power of 5x inside the integral, of course. We're going to write cos cubed as cos squared x cos x. And then, looking at our identity, we've got sine to the fifth x again, and the cos squared x, this is where we're using the 1 minus sine squared, and hopefully you can see now why we're doing that. We're going to be able to use our u substitution, aren't we? Let's just simplify this a little bit more. So I'm going to multiply out the the bracket. So we've got sine to the power of 5x times 1. So that's simple. And then sine to the power of 5x multiplied by sine squared. So that's going to be a power of 7. And we've still got cos x. Right, so now we're ready to write down our substitution for u. We can do this so u is going to be sine x. We can do this because when we differentiate sine, we get cos. So it's all going to be nice and easy to work out. So differentiating u, we get cos x. So that means we can replace cos x dx by du. So this becomes incredibly simple to integrate. So sine x all to the power of 5 is just u to the power of 5. Similarly, we've got u to the power of 7 here. And then cos x dx is du. So nice and easy to integrate. We're going to have u to the power of 6 over 6, u to the power of 8 over 8, and of course our constant of integration. And then at the very end, we remember that in fact u is sine x. So we've got 1 sixth of sine to the power of 6x and similarly here minus an eighth and sine to the power of 8 here. So that's it. So the tricky bit really is knowing how to start. So look very carefully at how we decided to start this one. If you had gone to try to look at the 5 you would have had to have rewritten sine to the power of 5x as sine to the power of 4x times sine x. And that would work, it's just a bit more tricky because sine to the power of 5, you'd have to write as sine squared squared and you would have replaced sine squared by 1 minus cos squared and you would have had to have squared that out, but it would still have worked. But when you've done, you would have done your u substitution, u would have been equal to cos x instead of sine x.